I'm frequently asked about the uh, engine I have in my Zenith 750 Cruiser, so I thought I'd do a short video on what it looks like. I, people are always asking me, well, how big is your engine? Uh, this is a UL Power 350 IS, 130 horsepower, fuel injected, full FADEC engine. And as you can see, <clears throat> power to weight, it's probably one of the best in class because I have roughly 16 inches from the back end of the engine over to the firewall. Uh, so they have to stick it out here on long engine mounts in order to uh, uh, offset the, uh, the light weight of it. Uh, and there is no additional weight that's required anywhere in the aircraft. Uh, this is a aftermarket MOSFET uh, regular rectifier. Uh, I had problems with the original factory supplied one. The plugs murked on me twice, so I opted to go with uh, a newer one, and uh, it's been on there about a year and a half now, working great. I have a uh, Aero Classic oil cooler, 10 row, works great. Uh, I've run the uh, oil lines up on top of the propeller flange. Um, even in the hot of the, the Florida summers, this engine uh, on climb out probably only hits 205 to 210. And then as soon as I go into cruise, it's in the uh, 180s. Here's the uh, fuel pumps with the uh, fuel filters. We have the two pre-filters prior to the pumps and then the fine filter after that. Uh, the air cooler. Oh, I'm sorry, not air cooler, air, air intake with air, fil uh, air filter. There is a uh, 30 amp stator on the back of this aircraft. Uh, I modified the exhaust a little bit. This is the original UL exhaust. What I did was instead of had the exhaust pipe going straight down uh, right here, I ran it back and put a bracket back here and have it exhaust underneath the airplane. I do have the uh, Zenith, uh, or excuse me, Viking steel bungee. I've been very happy uh, and pleased with its performance. I uh, can't speak for how it compares to the puck system. But from what I understand, it's much better than the old bungees. Anyhow, that's my airplane. Hope you enjoy.